You know what, I have to tell you guys, even though I might get some hate for saying this, I was not really on board with Payday 3 after seeing its official gameplay trailer that released during the Xbox showcase. To me the trailer looked really out of place and only showed fast paced action with sliding, gliding, reloading and simply shooting at a bunch of police. Well to me Payday is so much more than that, I wanted a reveal that was a little bit slower and that would help set the scene with a slow but intense build up so it kind of fell short to me. Until now that is, until now. Now because the developers just released their official dev diary video which gives us a look at exactly what this Payday 3 is all about. Exactly what we needed I think, with brand new footage and details that look and sound exciting, including the ability to have hostages, do negotiations, there's a bigger police roster, tons of new mechanics and gameplay elements, so let's get into those new details right away shall we? Now quick description of Payday 3 for the people that doesn't know, it is a high octane bank heist FPS where you'll take control of of different banks across many different locations in New York, with the famous Payday crew returning. Along with the possibility to plan your heist and do some things before the police arrives, you can also discuss the possibilities of negotiations or taking hostages to better get away from the scene for example. When they arrive though, if you do not collaborate, a massacre will begin and only your chosen weapons, gadgets, and AI or online player friends will decide if you stay alive or not. Now let's get into the new details. As you in your heist, most people like to play it stealthily and try and get to know the place before going all in. If you do get spotted or if guards are suspicious, they will begin searching for the area in every single place to try and find the intruders and talk to one another, which is a feature that was not present in the past games, so it's really good to see that. Now once you begin the party, you have the option to go into negotiation. The first responders will arrive to the scene and if you have hostages, you can start trading them to buy time before the cops get you or you can also save the hostages for later because you can also trade them for resources or if you're just tired of them you can just throw them at cops and shoot them which is a bit more brutal. These features already make the game a lot more exciting than I first thought. Now I'm, I'm actually fully interested in it. Payday 3 is taking place in New York as it is the birthplace of capitalism and it really reflects throughout the game with skyscrapers all around while you explore, taxi cabs, business people going about their day. The world will feel a lot lot more alive. It's something the devs focused on this time, is that the outside world feels like it's moving, not just inside the bank. So while you're gonna be outside, there's gonna be a ton of things to do, a ton of things to see, and it won't feel like it's empty and it's just the bank and you just have to go in. One of the coolest features of the developers for PD3 is you can take civilians as hostages in every single location that you're at. You can use them as shields towards law enforcement, for example. It is also said most PD players will recognize the feel of the third game right away and know how to play very easily, but the devs have added a lot of small little features that will affect the game and makes it into a completely different thing. Little things like the world beyond the banks, the AIs feeling more alive and having their routine and doing different things, doing their work, just patrolling around and doing some different things. Also the different weapons that will be available to you, the customization with it and so much more. There's also the different environments compared to past games and so on because now you're in New York so it's gonna feel more alive, more squeezed in and a little, a little more action, a little more bank heist. Players in Payday 3 can also expect more detailed character models, realistic environments and enhanced special effects immersing them further into the game world. Players can also anticipate a wider selection of heist locations ranging from traditional banks to high tech facilities, casinos, museums and more. The increased diversity in environments will provide fresh challenges and opportunities for creative gameplay strategies. Strategies. They've also completely improved gunplay, there's more responsive controls and better AI behavior for both enemies and teammates. The game may also introduce new mechanics, tools and gadgets to enhance the heisting experience and offer players more options for completing objectives. The game is also expected to feature an expanded character progression system allowing players to customize their characters in greater detail. In addition to gold, cash and jewelry and any other valuables you might come across, you'll be able to build a sizable collection of weapons, cosmetic and Accolades. It won't be as simple as showing up and getting goodies though, as you'll have to work hard and plan smart to get away with as much loot as possible. Without dying, you'll gain experience, unlock new skills and gain proficiency in weapons to steadily grow your power to handle the tougher challenges, it is said. For more on Penetry, like the video right away and subscribe to stay tuned.